All right, welcome to Clearview Outdoors. Recently, I got my hands on these Pro Rockets. Got three of them here. And they're not mine. <laughs> um, I guess through my videos and through the catfish community, I've met some friends that have the confidence in me to try to figure out what's going on with their reels and fix them, clean them up. Uh, if you've haven't watched my other videos on the uh, on the catfish, uh, the older catfish specials, uh, 65 C3s. I have uh, several videos on them. You can go back and check those out. Um, this reel here is belongs to Bill. That's the one we're going to be starting with because he did get it to me first. These two here belong to Ian. All right. So I'll show you what's going on here. The line guide. Once it gets over to the side here, it just stops. You see it started to come back and then it just stops. So we're not sure what's going on there. Um, there is ways. For some reason, if you hold the spool and pull on it, then you can get it to go again. But I was looking at the worm gear. From here, it doesn't look like it's messed up. So I'm wondering if it's not the gear in here. So, so what we're going to do first is tear off this side plate. This little gear right here is what turns that gear. So let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Seems like it might be. This gear is stripped right here. Okay, now this right here is the culprit for this uh, worm gear. So they call it a worm gear because they it worms in and out, in and out, in and out. And when your pole goes in there, that's what makes your line guide go back and forth and put your line on your reel. But, see, that's supposed to be solid. It's not, see how I'm holding this, and this is just spinning. It's broke. Um, so, that's the culprit uh, to Bill's reel. So, we're going to get him a new worm gear and uh, get him all cleaned up. See, and, uh, see all that dirt down in there? Down in here in the frame. The worm drive is probably the most important place to keep clean because it's actually open. Because what could have happened is a um, you know, a little pebble or a little, little rock or something like that might got it got caught in between that. And that little paw, how it goes through there. And that might have jammed that an, up enough. And if he was like fighting a fish or something like that. Or had a snag, you know. And kept cranking on that. Then that probably busted that loose. Just, you know, assumption. Could just been a faulty part. I don't know. Not sure if I've showed this before. Toothbrush. Soapy water. Do each part, rinse it, lay them out on a towel, and then uh, you know, dry them up good, and then just let them set out for a couple days. Make sure they dry good. Okay, all of our parts are clean. We got them all laid out here. The new worm gear. 
so we won't be needing that. Won't be needing that worm gear or pole. I'll give that back to Bill. And uh, also, Bill has opted to go with a power handle for this reel. Grease and oil what we need to and get her back together. All right, so we got the new worm gear. We are going to still use the old sleeve. I didn't see no need in getting it. You can get these kits. You can get just the worm gear, um, or you can get the worm gear and the um, paw. That's what they call that. His paw really didn't look that bad, but I just decided to go ahead and get the. Yeah, I mean it was only a few dollars more to get the get it with the paw. And we'll have a whole new worm gear system, especially since his was totally broke. You see, there's little ears, little ears on this side, and that's what goes over there. See, that bushing goes right into there. And this bushing. Got little notches, and then it, it locks in. Now, I am gonna put a light coat of grease on this. Um, some guys like oil, but I prefer the grease. Just lasts longer in the way we fish, especially fishing hard, hardcore, even in the winter and stuff. Um, summer you know the, i feel like the oil could dry up i don't know maybe i'm wrong but the, i like the grease but you want to try to get it down inside them grooves you might be saying wow that's a lot of grease but i'm just really trying to get it down in the grooves and then i'll wipe the ex excess off of the outside there because you know your paw is riding in them grooves we could slip a drop of oil right in there oh no never mind that that don't even turn it turns on the bush well yeah see that oil can get underneath that bushing a little bit okay now we're gonna wipe that outside off we don't want that too much on there. Just mainly want it inside them grooves. Now we can put that back in and we'll put a little drop of oil right there. Now this can be the tricky part. All right, I told you all wrong on this. I think this has to go in this way. My bad. So see that has to go in that way. So it'll fit through the hole. Let's try this again. So now we take our clip, this is pretty simple, you just put that there, make sure it doesn't gouge into that plastic, just kind of snap that right over there. Then Make sure that that there's in. There have been times I got one clear back together and didn't have that in there. So now we get the paw in there. Okay, see, it's working. So now we can put the cap on it.
craftsman. Dead tight. There we go. There you go, Bill. That was your problem right there. Baby's working good now. All right, so we got that. And we can get this back on. Get our little screws back in here. There you go, Bill. Good as new, buddy. As always, thanks for joining us at Clearview Outdoors. And See you, buddy.